What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's just another hot day and I want to go outside and work on the truck. Uh, what I want to do today is to clean up all the old Bondo off the cab corners. All this stuff needs to go. I need to see what I'm dealing with here. Uh, this cab corner and the other cab corner, obviously. I'm going to take the grinder and uh, clean up even the Bondo in, on the inside here, do some cleaning here. Work on the bottom edge, get all the old welds and rust off so I can get it ready to put the step back in. As for the front here, I'm going to do some cleaning right here. Uh, probably cut this section off. And I'm also thinking about cutting this section completely off. Um, but I'm wondering, since there's really not going to be anything holding this, uh, this section to the floor, I'm wondering if it's going to make the cab sag a little bit. So just for good measure, I'm probably going to prop this up with wood or jack or something. So whenever I cut through that, it doesn't uh, make this entire cab all cattywampus. So let me get started on this and it's going to be a pretty, uh, needless to say, a dusty mess. Told ya. <laughs> Way too dusty. That's only this side. And plus, this side didn't have as much Bondo as the driver's side has. Maybe I need a mask. But I got, you can see, majority of the Bondo off. I still need to get the inside here. Well, I put the cab under shade because it's just way too damn hot outside. The GoPro overheated and shut off a couple times. Uh, gonna try my luck in here, set up the GoPro, and hopefully it'll last longer than uh, 20 seconds. Ugh, hope I never have to do that again. I guess the next step would be to take this paddle wheel off and put on an actual grinder wheel and go around and grind down all these welds and see how much Bondo I can get out of there. Also, this Bondo coming up through the weld mark or where they welded even bothered to uh, do a thorough weld job and just had the bondo seeping through and uh once again i'll have to put the cutoff wheel back on the grinder to get this angle iron off i've been neglecting to do that also while digging around i realized i had some smaller diameter uh, angle iron that i can use in place of this uh, i think it's about maybe half inch three quarter i can't really remember but it's a whole lot better than this stuff well, it's a few days later, and of course, I bring all the welding stuff out and get ready to finish up these cap corners, and it decides to drizzle on me. I guess I'll have to wait out and see, hopefully it uh, clears up. But I got both cap corners almost completely welded up. Got a few pinholes to take care of and a few rough spots. The uh, rear door jam still needs some welding. Uh, got a few larger holes I need to take care of. And I wanted to do a little welding on the floor today. Uh, was able to get some done on that side. I got plenty of holes over here where the seat mounts, uh, more holes where they, I guess, put the roll cage in. I made more holes accidentally with the wire wheel, but I guess I'll have to hold that off till tomorrow because the skies are looking gray and there's thunder. And uh, I'm pretty much gonna call it a day, so I'll get back on this tomorrow. I think it's safe to say the Spartan can use a new tarp. I'm gonna have to get another one and put it on there. That was a brand new tarp a few months ago. Eh, oh well. Or better yet, get it running, because I know y'all want to see that. Well, it's Sunday. Last time I recorded was Wednesday. Uh, on Thursday, I did some grinding and some welding, but didn't bother recording it. Uh, on Friday, I had a headache after work and I didn't feel like doing anything. Yesterday, I finished up the cab corner on the passenger side. And today I finished up the one on the driver's side. And I gotta say they're a little rough, the welds are, but it is, they are solid and it, they are so much better than what, how it originally was. So I'm pleased with that. But for my next line of business, will be to address this mess. And I also need to make a clarification. 
Earlier I said I'm going to cut this piece out. But what I meant to say was I'm gonna cut these two pieces apart and cut this piece out or just cut it out from here because the cab brace is severely rusted and that needs to be repaired. And obviously this rust hole needs to be repaired as well. And as I also mentioned, whenever I cut this, I don't know if the cab is going to sag or anything. So I have this jack here to hold the cab up while I cut it. And hopefully it doesn't sag on me, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Well, it's been propped up and for the time being, it's pretty stable. As you obviously can tell, I've cut out part of the uh, flat piece here. I'm probably gonna leave this section in. Uh, there is a lot of rust in the cab brace and there looks to be some deeper in there. And of course, no matter where I go, I find dirt dauber nest, and that was stuck up way up in here. Get rid of that. I'm thinking I'm going to go back with something similar like this to where the metal was actually underneath this piece because the bottom hinge pocket here actually overlaps the flat piece here and is spot welded in place onto the brace. So most likely I'm gonna go that route and keep it somewhat original. Now the good thing is once I'm done here, I can start back with the floor. Isn't it funny how you start one thing and it just snowballs into more and more and more things? Well, I mean, it is a project vehicle. That's what they're known for, right? You know, call me crazy, but I think I'm going to reuse this piece because it fits perfectly in there and I just need a little bit of metal to fill this open spot. Also, while we're on the topic of reusing old metal, there's a piece that goes up in here and a piece that goes in there, they're pretty much the same. That one's still stuck in there. I'm thinking about fixing them up and reusing them because a brand new piece from like LMC costs 40 bucks each one. And then uh, this piece here from LMC also costs 40 bucks. Now this piece can be fixed and just weld up the holes. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting off the jagged ends here and just welding on some new metal because that will have to wait for another day. I've done as much as I wanted to do today. So I'm gonna pack everything back up and hop back on this thing tomorrow. Uh, or maybe not, we'll see how hot it gets. All right, back on it today. I welded up the brace, got some primer on it, and also fabbed up this piece. As you remember, this is the piece I said I was going to reuse. Uh, I got this section from the old floor I ended up cutting out. That was a good section, so that's where I got it from. And it's hot, so I'm gonna try and make this quick. This thing's pretty much ready to be welded in place. I got holes drilled for the spot welds. I got this hole drilled to weld it here. Now I made the bottom a little longer. So whenever it's all welded up, I can just cut it off whenever I need to. Okay, it's welded in and I'm pretty happy on how it turned out. Uh, it seems to be pretty solid and whenever you shake the cab, it has no flex. Uh, for good measure, I even welded a little bit on the back side against the brace. And I guess the next thing to do will be finally to tackle the floor. And I have it over here, baking in the sun. I better be careful with it. Ow, yeah, that's pretty hot. Uh, this piece I cut out of the old floor section and I welded in on the bottom, put a little primer on it. Uh, the indention they originally had here, it was completely off and I just didn't like it, it was too thin. So I completely hacked it out and put this piece in and have it lined up with the hole that goes through the brace. I already test fit that, so it should be good to go. And here is the rest of the floor that I'm not gonna use. That's quite a bit. It's what, like 50% I'm not using? I'll save that for something else. Well, this is just about ready to go in. Fits good for now. I'd say this section of the floor is officially welded in. I still need to get the grinder and smooth out some of the welds here. Uh, I don't plan on completely getting rid of it all or making it nice and smooth because that adds to the strength of the floor here. Plus, I'm going to eventually lay carpet throughout this cab, like a factory carpet that this truck would have came with. 
pockets. So uh, all this would be hidden. I still need to tackle this hole, obviously. Uh, I need to do a little more welding over here, but I will save that for the next, uh, I guess, part three. I'll also work on the floor over there and fix up the rust holes, and I'll also put the steps back on. And luckily for that giant hole, I still have the old metal that I hacked out. Uh, this piece here, I still need to take it off the old galvanized. That's gonna be fun. And it's also gonna be fun trying to cut this to the right, uh, the right diameter and try and make it fit. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. Still got lots to do and it takes me a while to make a video. So if you're interested in watching me work on this pile, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Thanks guys.